Easy. Well, yesterday I spent some time laughing rather loudly at the very unfortunate fate of the Trump balloon. But unfortunately the story as it develops, I'm no longer laughing because it would appear that the culprit behind this is was well it was she was unknown to me up until now. Apparently called Based Amy and is a YouTube star. Now I've not seen any of her videos but I'm going to have to rectify that very quickly and see uh, just exactly who she is and what she's about. Now the unfortunate thing here is that I'm afraid that this woman has screwed up in a major way. The first thing that she's done is she's carried a bladed article into a public place. Now what with all the knife crime going on at the minute, that's not going to go down very well in court I don't think. The criminal damage part of this uh, is really just small fry, insignificant stuff which they're probably either going to just let that one go, but as I find out that this woman is a Tommy Robinson supporter. Now when she popped the balloon, uh, I have a feeling that the adrenaline was pumping, she was shaking a little bit and she went in there, probably held the balloon with one hand while piercing it with the other. In the process of doing that she's cut a finger quite badly. Probably because of the, the, the shaking, she hasn't been very careful, it hasn't been a very methodical piercing. Uh, and she claims that she fell over. But come on, I mean, you don't cut your finger like that by falling over. You might graze it maybe, you might break it even, but cut it like that, no. But the police uh, are going to investigate this. Now, she said, Amy has said that she's been released pending further investigation. Now, I think it's clear to me what's going to happen now is that the police are going to find out that she is a Tommy Robinson supporter and they are going to shift into overdrive. We all know what happens to anybody who dares to support Tommy. Not only that is that she seems, from what I can tell, quite an elderly lady. Now, it's possible that she doesn't work, that she may even be retired. But either way, she is a YouTube star. She very well might be making money from that. And now I believe it's not going to be very long before her channel is closed down. Which is very sad, really. Uh, because my next step now is to check out plenty of this woman's videos. So guys, vigilante behaviour. You may say that it's short term elation, but unfortunately it, it's going to be long term problems, particularly for this woman, because believe me, the police are not going to let this go now. And what with the media uh, running in overdrive over everything to do with Tommy, they're going to say that Tommy Robinson supporters, this is what they look, this is what they like. They carry knives into public places. It's not going to be long before a Tommy Robinson supporter stabs somebody. So we're going to have to clamp down on these supporters. We know where this is going to roll to, don't we? Yeah, we know. Anyhow, unfortunate. Don't carry any knives in public. We don't want any more activities like this. But as far as the Trump balloon's concerned, it's history. Thanks for watching. Till next time, easy.